I, I just love seeing someone come from something, you know, potentially not even knowing what the sport is, to then achieving what they've set themselves out to achieve. I inherited a program from one of the best coaches I know, but he was such an amazing individual that he knew everything up in his brain. So we had nothing, we had no data, we had nothing. It was all up in his head. I want to be able to leave a legacy at Westminster where whenever I end up leaving, I want to be able to go, okay, this is what we did. It gives value to the programme. So we first started using Ludum 2018, and I was trying to convince my boss that this would make our life easier, and he was not having it at all. And for the first two years, he still didn't actually believe that it was doing it. He wanted me to print out a programme so he could actually put it up on the wall, um, rather than, he, didn't, he just couldn't see the value of, I mean, he didn't even have a smartphone, so he wouldn't understand what was going on. And then um, lockdown happened, and he got a smartphone, and he got obsessed with data, like absolutely obsessed with it. And now, and he, I remember him saying, I could not see the value of it until now, and now I see it so much. Uh, I'd say I use them basically every single day, so since I'm training, uh, two to three times a day, so it's kind of putting stuff up for every single time I do anything. Uh, especially now, since we have less time together uh, to, to look at the results that I've been pulling at home or, or in the club when he's not around, um, and then we can have a chat about that. And the same for the water sessions, uh, you can see the heart rate data, and uh, you can use that to figure out how much training I've been doing and how it's affecting me physiologically. Using Ludum with Westminster and seeing the value that we had with all of my guys that are dotted all around the world, it just brought us all together and I was able to have a programme where everyone saw that people were training so therefore it created an atmosphere that was like, oh, okay, this is, people are actually doing this even though I, I can't physically see them. And so it was, quite, it was quite useful. And then we would obviously be having various like, video calls with the group and, and you know, it was a really nice way to interact with the guys when we weren't able to physically be with each other. Um, and so I, it just kind of occurred to me that actually this could be an amazing platform for um, maybe individual scholars or, or, or clubs that want to kind of get together and whatever they want to achieve. So I'm working with all sorts of different people some of them have very kind of rigorous work schedules so each week is a complete, completely different and some of them sometimes start doing nights so like Mel for example she's a doctor so some days she's got no work at all and, and, and you know that could be a random Tuesday but then she could be working nights over the weekend so there's a very hard flow to her training program that's got to be adapted to but we've we've been working together for so long that I know her and she knows me well enough to know what's right and what, what works for her and okay she's an Olympic medalist and she knows her body really well but at the same time she needs to kick up the arse occasionally. So I'm Melanie Wilson, I'm an Olympic silver medalist from Rio in the women's eight and I currently row out of Imperial College in London. I'm working as a full-time doctor which is what I went into after the Rio Games um, and I'm really loving just getting back into a bit of competitive rowing um, and structuring my training a bit better. Josh helped me a lot in the run up to the Rio Games actually. Um, I took a year out before competing but the year before that I was studying full time and obviously my training time was quite limited. Um, he wrote me a training program for that which was really brilliant that cut down the hours and the volume but um, up the intensity and in the end I was almost as competitive as, as the athletes training full time. Um, obviously now it's massively different, I'm not at the same level um, and I've got m even less time working full time. Um, and he's written a training program that's quite flexible. So um, it's maybe three or four set sessions a week and then the rest of them I can scale up and down depending on how much energy I feel, or how much time I have that day. Um, and yeah, it's been really brilliant to have something to aim towards. Um, I'm uh, now a master's rower, but I've been rowing since I was 10, so 50 years now. I love training, I love being on the river, not really that fussed about racing, um, but I you know, do like to try and uh, keep fit and keep the technique up to date and just keep relevant really. Having a remote coach I find extremely useful. You know, when I was younger and I was at the rowing club, 
everyday training and I had access to a coach, uh, it worked very well for me, as I think it does obviously for most people. But now I don't go to the club every day. Uh, I'm at work some days, I'm here, there and everywhere. Uh, but obviously with, uh, with my computer and phone, whether I'm at work or in the car somewhere, I get direct access. I really think there's some benefit to remote coaching because it, it allows the athlete to do what they want to do. And I think that's quite important. So you look at all these national team setups or these club setups and they're stuck. They're where they want to be. Whereas, you know, if we've got a sculler or, or a four that have the ability to go away and train somewhere else for a period of time, that's amazing, right? They have the confidence to go away, upload all this data and be really specific about, yeah, we, we've got some value added from going away. I don't want the row coach to be exclusive. I want it to be inclusive. And just because it's a business doesn't mean that I don't want to speak to people without getting paid, if, if that makes sense. I want it to be a community. Um, and I really want to be able to add value to, to the community of rowing. Mm -hmm.